There is a question that will change your life, permanently, profoundly, for the better, positively. It's a very simple question. It's called the DDQ. Now, don't get your hopes up. It has nothing at all to do with Dairy Queen. The DDQ is the direction deflection question. You're heading along in this direction. You stop and you say, is that where I want to go? And is what I'm about to do going to get me there? The DDQ, here's the quintessential DDQ and is scrolling across the screen right now. It says, is what I'm about to do going to help me be my ideal best self? Now, if you think about it, that is really three questions in one because you can't even begin to ask a DDQ without this first question, who am I when I'm being my ideal best self? As a parent, as a manager, uh, managing my time and my money, what would my best self look like? Question number two, is what I'm about to do or say right now going to help me be that person? And if the answer is no, question number three is, what would I do if I were being my best self? Now, here are a couple of hints. When you get to that question number two, is what I'm about to do going to help me be my ideal best self? If you don't hear the word no a lot more than you hear the word yes, you're not being honest with yourself. And why is that? Because we're human. It is human nature to take the easy way out, to take the, the easy path. It is a lot easier to put the donut in your mouth than it is to put down the donut and go to the gym. That's human nature. So you hear, no, that's not what I would do if I were really being my best self. What would I do? You'll hear a voice in the back of your head, a soft little voice that will tell you, Put down the donut and go to the gym. And if you can get yourself to do that thing that you know is your best self in action, then you start to actually carve your way into being that best self. Now this is infinitely adaptable, this DDQ. You can, you can adapt it to any goal you want to set for yourself. And let me give you a couple of real world examples. Real world example number one, Jimbo Brown, Jim Brown, who goes by Jimbo, G-Y-M-B-E-A-U-X, the Cajun spelling. He's a long-term Spark Plug reader, Spark Plug Plus member, and he wanted to lose 40 pounds. He wrote himself a DDQ. Is what I'm about to put in my mouth going to help me achieve my goal of losing 40 pounds? <laughs> One day we were doing a workshop, he lives in the New Orleans area, and we were doing a workshop down there, and he was helping me get it all set up. I called him on his cell phone one day, I had some questions, hey Jimbo, it's Joe Ty, and I hear this long, four, long silence, and then he goes, oh, and a four letter word comes out of his mouth, and I said, Jimbo, what's wrong? And he says, I'm walking out of Baskin Robbins with a double dip cone and Jiminy freaking cricket calls me on my cell phone. I said, hey, go ahead and eat it. You know, you've already paid for it. He said, it's too late. It's already on the ground. Now, Jimbo lost his 40 pounds. He said he felt better than any time since he had, had retired from the Coast Guard. But he said, not only that, taking control of his body helped him take control of other dimensions of his life his business his finances it gave him that confidence i can do this and he started writing ddqs for other things i worked with another person who will re remain anonymous for now a woman who was deep in debt she'd gone through a nasty divorce he got the the job and the money she got the house and the kids and she fell back on her what she called her safety net mastercard visa and discover and pretty soon she had almost $30,000 in credit card debt, 18 point some percent interest rate, and all she could afford to make were minimum payments. Now, when you did the math, she was going to be in debt for the rest of her life. She had mortgaged off her future to the white collar bandits of MasterCard, Visa, and Discover. That is a formula for misery. One of the things I asked her to do was to write herself a DDQ, direction deflection question. And she did. Is what I'm about to spend my hard earned cash on going to help me achieve my goal of being debt free and financially independent? And then I said, what, I asked her, what hand do you use to take your wallet out of your purse? She said, my left hand. 
said, fine, every morning when you get up, you take a pen out of your pocket or off the bedside table, and on the outside of your left hand, you write the letters where you can see them, DDQ, direction, deflection, question. And every time you see that hand, go in front of your face, reaching for your wallet to buy something, you stop, oh yeah, DDQ, a reminder, is what I'm about to buy, is what I'm about to spend my hard-earned cash on, going to help me achieve what's really important to me, being debt-free and financially independent, and if the answer is no, you put it down, turn around, and walk off. By the end of this year, 2010, that woman will be out of debt and she'll never go back in because that DDQ has become a part of her life. It'll change your life too. Give it a try. Think of something you want to achieve, someone you want to be. Write yourself a direction deflection question, DDQ. Then every morning when you get up, write on the back of your hand with a pen, DDQ. As a reminder, is what I'm about to do or say going to help me be my ideal best self? Give it a try. It's worked for a lot of people. It'll work for you.